Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, yes, that's what I wanted to do, game. You didn't have to tell me what continue does. Temporarily sheathe your blade. Rapidly move for a certain distance. One attack, but it has many useful applications, especially when. Okay. Alright, so we have switched to. I forget these characters' names. Noah. Yeah. Uni. Lance. Okay. So you switched to Uni for, for a little bit. Not entirely sure why we've made that switch, but uh, the game has... Oh. Oh, geez, hi. Anyway, it does mean that I'm in charge of heals. It also means I'm in charge of days. There we go. That's how you do things. Okay. I wish we could have avoided that. What were they gonna do? Make me yawn myself to death? Oh geez, that's not the way. Got it. Follow the uh, path of smoke here. That's how you know where to go and how to get there. Well, you know where to go by that thing. You know how to get there with that thing. Game doesn't mess around to put you in the right direction. So, uh, last time we were introduced to the mechanic of the Ether Clock, and then we were promptly told that the Ether Clock no longer applies to us. Now, I don't know if that is only Noah, or if that's all three characters. Also, let's see. Oh, okay. So if I'm moving and I click down on R, I can kind of do a dog move. Got it. I wish we could have avoided that. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Also, I do need to remember the fact that, uh... Right with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Eat it! I wish I could just tell the party to... There we go. Yeah, I wish I could tell the, the party to actually, like, um, start attacking for me. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can't. Check plus grab characters. Because yeah, I think this panel here shows, um, well, maybe if I was in combat, yeah. Even with the gone. There 
is still monsters about, is that what you mean? I know. Here we go, guys. Let's give them the usual, Noah. Uppercut. Oh, yeah, there we go. Looking good, Noah. Oh, thanks. I don't think that's up to Noah right now. It's Uni, you're in control of this party. Oh, dang it. You get out of my face so that I can actually send this guy out. I kind of like, I, I still kind of like the idea of like sending people out like that. But yeah, they, they are warriors, but really like, they have absolutely no say. About what's going on. They're, they're literally created, exist for 10 years to fight and nothing else, and then they're dismissed. Basically, just decommissioned. And although they do have some pageantry around it, it's still just kind of. They don't really get to pick something else to do with their lives. But it's nice that there are these people who are specifically there to kind of pay respect. Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. That one might not aggro because it's uh, six levels below. Hey, this one means business. Come here. I got something for or maybe they still do aggro, I don't know. Didn't realize it was my turn. It's a nice thing with with uh, playing with Noah. Is you get to pick when the combo starts. I wonder if I can. Nope. 
Yeah, I don't think there was a plateau for me to climb upon anyway. Also, that is some energetic jumping you're doing there, Uni. Hey, Jewel. For a specific unit. I'm fine. I just. I'm not sure how to feel. That's all. I mean, that's fine. We we just kind of. We went through some weird shit last time, so. It's entirely reasonable that you don't know how to feel. Which mod were you looking for, Drew? Give me a topper. Give me a topper. No. Alright. Ah, I see. How bad is Dark Souls 3 to actually mod? Topple and Daze. Boom. I, I have no problem with people who want to cheat in video games. It's their prerogative unless it's an online game. If it's an online game, you do not cheat. Because that's ruining it for everyone. Targeted on this guy. Oh, y'all are still doing follow the leader, that's why. I was wondering why nobody was attacking. <laughs> Your 69 hours. They have low changes shown in the menu. Yeah. Like, little quality of life UI things. That's reasonable to, to mod in. I don't mean way too soon. That took way longer than it should have. These guys are level 4. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat?
Looks like no one has enough bonus experience to level up here. Wing calls. Ah, there we go. That's interesting that you that you can actually clean your clothes. I don't know if that has any effect in the game. Just part of the protocol, isn't it? All right, let's get going. Time's a wasted. Also, I'm probably just gonna use two save files for this game rather than like a save file per stream. Cause here we go, guys. Uh, there, there's only three save slots available, so... Plus the autosave, which you don't really control. It's gonna be a four hour stream, as I, as I usually do. things. It's hard to know exactly what's going to be useful. Also by actually looking around, sometimes you might find something interesting. Like on top of here, there seems to be a container that I we'll would like to get. I'm not but sure I don't I'm know. Am I going to be able to get up there? How do I get up there? The everlasting question. How do I get up there? My jump is not very high. It seems like over here would be like the best way, but I can't make this jump. Oh well. Maybe I have to get to like go up to this ledge here. And like jump across Guys, there. Oh jeez. Yeah, extras.
There we go. Boom. That guy over there is level 19. Probably best not to mess with it. Container up there, too. But same deal, I cannot make that jump. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Also, I'm going entirely the wrong way. But yeah, uh, during that test run, I was uh, sending you a lot of stuff, Joel. Uh, I'm guessing that you only have a limited capacity of how much how much you can carry. Ooh, there's a shiny over there. Oh wait, is this that ledge? Oh, there is no carry capacity. Right. Let's push on. Hey, this one means business. Uppercut. Make this quick. Smooth as always, Noah. Time to get cracked. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks for the support. Yeah. Focus down the, the shiny. No stopping you, lad. You're coming to get up a cut. Yeah, I guess it would probably get kind of annoying if, uh, if you start a game, like if you're in the middle of fighting a boss and then all of a sudden like you, you know, like get 17 items and you become so late and that, that you can't even move anymore. Break? Extra. I guess not. I wish we could have avoided that. So, uh, when's the battle happening? You itching to get wrecked? Come here, I got something for you. Cheers, you're the gem. Break! Oh shoot, I missed my days. Well, it's not what I meant to press, but hey, it works. What were they gonna do? Make me your 
bore myself to death. All right, here we go. Yep. Okay. Oh, what are you still doing over there? This is not going to work. Okay, now we're all together. Let's go get that container now. Couple of silver knob on coins, alright. I'll try to uh Uni. Please. Okay, so that guy is six levels under me, doesn't seem to be uh, aggroing. If there are five levels under, they still will. Who's so sleepy? Could do with long soaking bath. <laughs> oh, to be a carefree nop on. Just hold out a little longer. We'll be back soon. Oh! Look! Friendlies! Are you sure they don't seem friendly? And suddenly there's only three of them. Alright, let's focus one down. What was it that Morpheus said at the end of the last stream that the whole world would be against us? I'm guessing that also includes our actual, you know, friends. Enemy. Huh? 
What was that? If we get any closer to Colony 9, we're just going to end up getting surrounded. We've no choice. We're gonna have to head back! So I wonder how that's gonna turn out because like the the offsend thing that we've been doing is supposed to like increase our uh, reputation with uh, well in most cases around here Colony Nine. How are they so good at finding us? What's going on here? Tie on. That light. Is that? What is it? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah, I think I see what's going on here. Melnath's shoulder. And now we're controlling Mio. Mio takes the defender role and her class is Zephyr, so now we're a tank. Defer defenders draw an enemy's aggro toward themselves to prevent their allies from being attacked. Use guard and evasion arts to reduce the damage you take. Whenever you draw enemy attention to yourself, your talent, uh, your talent art icon will flash blue, and your talent art gauge will charge a lot. Actions with in which interfere with enemy attacks, like blocking, evading, or interrupting them with reactions, also count as roll actions, charging your talent art gauge bit by bit. It's kind of getting us used to um, everyone's classes here. To Gamma. We need to get some distance or they'll find us. Ra Roger. You're too dangerous, sir. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that even though there was like just an invisible wall there, it didn't like put us in cutscene mode to tell us, no, you can't go this way. Oh no. Guess they knew we'd come here. You're the ones that raided the colony. I ain't letting you get away. Oh, someone having real bad mood. But why? It's like nobody recognizes us. As of this moment, the point is moot. Clearly we ought to prioritize our physical safety. But... Sina, come on. You don't want to get slaughtered by your allies, do you? Don't get it at all. We can't go back to Colony Gamma with things like this. Tyon. There's somewhere we can we can hide out. I suppose where we bid farewell to our new friends might be. Understood. Let's try to slow him down at most. Exactly my fault. Mm -hmm. ah, Accumulating aggro will draw an enemy attention toward you. Using strong attacks and healing arts will accumulate a lot of aggro, so keep that in mind. If an ally is under attack and at risk of becoming in incapacitated, a good tactic is to accumulate aggro toward yourself so that they can continue fighting. Oh my goodness, please. To show, to show you which of your characters are being attacked by enemies, a red or blue thread will connect the enemy and the character they're attacking, the targeting line. When the character is an attacker or healer, the line is red. Unlike Defenders, Defense isn't their strong suit, 
So it's your cue to be careful. A blue line in case that the enemy's target is a defender. Defenders specialize in taking enemy attention and attacks, so they should ju they should do just fine in this situation. Classes from Kevis and Agnes recharge their arts gauges in different ways. Kevis classes arts arts gauges fill over time. Agnian classes arts gauges fill by auto attacking. Noah's team belongs to Kevis and Neos to Agnes. Yes, so in case you have not been paying attention to the story so far. For Agnian classes, cancelling auto attacks into arts will boost the recharge quicker. Use this to your advantage. Targeting in this game is a little clunky, I find. Buddy. Speaking of elite, Come back here, you. I want to get away from that edge there, Mia. Please take a step back. Aww, we were just getting started. Okay, where were those shinies? Or... Alright, yeah. Oh geez, there's another one over there. Where is it? Okay, this is... Getting awfully messy. Don't you look away from me. 
Guys. Now for this big guy. Hey buddy. I'm, I'm right here. There you go. I am not used to being a tank. I don't usually play tank. Big deal. Right. We should move right away. Well, we got the blood pump at least. We got a bronze temple guard. Uh, what do we have as far as accessories? Gear support. We, we seem to have all of the stuff from the other party as well, which I don't really agree with. We shouldn't have access to, like, the entire inventory until everyone is back together. Which is obviously what they're building for right, right now. Well, intellect, money wraps. I don't see that that would be useful right now. Let me boost your... Yeah, let me give you an attack stone. Can I survive a level 9 uni? What level are we right now? Level 11? I don't really fancy my chances right now. You think those people got away safely? Senna, why waste your time worrying about those caresses? Forget about them. I couldn't keep them in check! Right. 
right away. Ah, and we were just getting started. Should be time for dinner soon, right? Looks like we've made it back here. What? Hey guys. You lot. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's reunion. daytime. What exactly are we doing here? Yeah, beats me. I'm starting to get antsy here. Mm, what he said. And how do you suppose we feel? Tyon, don't be like this. Reel it in a little. You guys, you want to survive? Live on? Hold the torch? Good question. What? Guys, let's live. Let's survive. What kind of pep talk is that? Of course we're gonna survive. Well then, we know where to go. The city. The sit? What are you even... In the eyes of the world at large, we're outlaws now. We can't go back to the colony. The soldiers. Their irises glowed blood red, just like his did. Right. I remember. This is just conjecture. But what if those soldiers are perceiving us as enemies? Because of the red irises? Correct. But what's even up with the colony? Did that freak do that? How? We don't know the method, but it's logical to think he did something. That's exactly right. That's it. So instead of going off our separate ways, we stand a better chance if we all work together, right? I suppose I can't deny that. If we are going to be running, we might as well have some kind of aim, right? People on opposite sides, working together. Do you see? You're saying we can survive that way? Dude, what are we doing about the homecoming? Lance. Are you being serious? Uh, uh... Come on. You have to understand. <sighs> if you still want to go after all this, I won't stop you. But before you do, you'll have to kill our friends here. <sighs> Is that even... How our lives are supposed to go. Remember that ceremony? Long ago. But after our homecoming, what's left? Well, think of the praise they got up there. Up on that shining platform. To me, it was like a pillar of husks. <laughs> Terrible altar built upon countless lives. You want that as your legacy? You're really okay with that? Well, what do you want me to do? I can't answer that for you. I don't know everything. But we need answers. I say we go out and find them. I want to know, why were we entrusted with these powers? What did he mean by the real enemy? So, the city. Yeah. What did he say? A, a land pierced by a great sword? Oh, right. That sword. You know, that massive one way down south. Defeat the real enemy. 
I restore the world to order. Well then, I guess you can count me in. Mia? I think I'd like to trust that man. Besides, how can we even fight anymore? After all we've been through. They're the enemy. They were the enemy. Okay, I'm with Mimi on this one. It, it may be to our advantage. I'll admit that, at least. Oi, what's that look for? Don't just stare at me. It's creepy. <laughs> We're gonna need an answer soon. Get you out of here, ass lions. Do I even have a choice? Guess there's nothing for it. Good. My name's Noah. Colony 9, Special Forces Unit. As you know, I'm an Officer. These three, Lans, Uni, and Riku, are my long-term friends. Oh, and this is my passion. Someday I'd like to play my own melodies. Not just the same old music that I learned in training. Okay. Uh, what is this? Feels like a surprise inspection or something. It'll help, in the long run. Come on, man. Really? I'm called Mio. I'm an officer in Colony Gamma's musical unit. Um... I can do the hundred metri in seven seconds. Pretty quick on my toes, I guess. You go, girl. And... I keep a diary. I like writing down what happens. I never miss a single day. Uni's the name. Special Forces Unit, Colony 9. We act as Noah's escort. Me and the boys, inseparable since we left the pod. My special moves, group heal. It's great at healing my allies all at once. My hobby, collecting fortune clovers, I guess. And I'm Senna. I've been Mia's roomie, uh, ever since I was posted to Colony Gamma. My special move, I'm just crazy strong, I guess. I don't look it, but I can lift far more than my own weight. My hobby is lifting. <laughs> oh, there you go, Lans. Got a muscle buddy. Well, I'm Tyon. I'm part of operations and planning in Colony Gamma's survey branch. For this mission, I was assigned as support for the Offseer. And, go on, your special move? I don't have a special move. <sighs> What's the point? Why share details like that? I don't have hobbies. Wow, Colony Dull. Riku. In Colony 9, Riku was head of maintenance and crafting. And these are attendants of Riku. They at your disposal. What's this attendance crap? I'm Manana. Manana was cookie pot in Colony of Mio and others. Manana master of food. Stews, baked goods, fry up can even cook up a mean Gonzalez eyeball. Eyeball? I didn't realize both Agnes and Kevis assigned Nop onto their officer squads. Weird coincidence, huh? Yeah. Wouldn't have expected similarities there. <sighs> Come on. Lance, please. Uh, my name's Lance. I'm from the same colony as Noah. I work as the unit's defense. My special move? Ah, you figure it out. Ugh. 
Do we have to do this rubbish? Just bear with us. We can plan, now that you've joined. So you're acting like we're a team already? Ugh, Spock's alive. Fine then, I'm with you. You totally sure? What else do I do? Not like we've got much choice. So, what's our angle? We have made some distance, but we're still in the colony's search zone. Luckily, we don't have any colonies south of here. And you? We shouldn't have any colonies mobilized either. So we go south then? Yeah. Um, what are you doing there? Hmm? Well, our clothes are pretty filthy. Just wondered if there was anything to change into. Oh. Fashion and utility. I need a change of clothes, too. Because these are, uh, yeah. Don't stop at clothes. Have a look around. Take anything that could come in useful. Is there anything we could use? I guess we pretty much do kind of need a bit of a change of clothes, considering that we're going non-partisan. Let's flip through uh, some of this text here. I'll talk to Mio last, because she like right next to that trigger point, and I don't want to uh, accidentally trip that trigger point. There's dog tags over here. What's what's going on there? Are these his dog tags? Guernica Vandam. I guess that's his name. That's great. Huh? I kind of hated the idea of not even knowing who he was. Right, yeah. Let's remember him... ...as the man who gave us a goal... ...and the ability to choose. Yeah. I still, I still feel a little weird about how fast Vandom died. Usually Vandom sticks around for a while. And he's basically the Sid of Xenoblade. Actually, there's a couple of them over here. I have two talent. Yeah, no, that's kind of a twist for us. What about you, banana? Banana looking for bananas. Alright. These are all clothing containers. Cooking ingredients here! Ain't tea too good at these? There's one with equipment too. Not exactly equipped to match our setup. Eh, we'll just have to deal. Hmm. What's with the frown? Have they got nothing in your size? Well, this fabric is awfully thin. It doesn't seem very reliable. You can't expect luxury, can you? Bound to be better than nothing. Unless you're happy with what you have now? N no, I'll wear it. We all have to make sacrifices. Ooh, you know, I might be able to rock this jacket. Maybe I'll go for this one. I like the colors. Not exactly the freshest threads, eh? Maybe it's on the old side, but there's no tears. It'll be fine. 
They've got lots of funny designs here, huh? They sure do. Some of the stuff's like, how do you even put it on? Huh. Pretty easy to move in this. Score. Oh, yeah? Are there any more of those? Sorry, just this. Oh, shoot. What is it? Not gonna change? Huh? Um, yeah, I... Hang on, still gotta, uh, change my boots, I guess. Y your boots? Uh, you'll need a hammer, those, yeah? <laughs> it's having a good look at those cute girls, huh? Oh, 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 wait, I, I can help. Huh? What's boot them? They could have just changed here. They went pretty far off, huh? Huh? Is that... Yeah. My time left. <laughs> Think about it. Wouldn't want to lose track of time and just run out. Today, it's exactly three months. Three more months. And then I'll be gone from this world. I've thought about this a lot. About what I can achieve. What I'll leave behind. <sighs> I've sent off so many who felt the same. I see. So that's why you trusted that guy. You hope to live more. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Huh. But you and me just talking like this. I think that's kind of amazing. And if there really is hope in that place that the man mentioned. Is that what you'd want for a legacy? <laughs> Weird question. Those who can leave their legacy, are they content at the end? Huh? And the ones left behind, can they really come to terms with that? That's food for thought, huh? I think about it all the time. What we leave when we're gone. What that connection truly means. Connection, eh? Heavy stuff. Yeah. That's life, I guess. So basically what we have here is a group of people who are meant to live 10 years 
up, up to 10 years, assuming that they don't die first. And after those 10 years are done, that's it for them. And so now that they have a chance to escape that 10 year cycle, they're trying to figure out what it means. So that's basically what's happening here. Not only crossing the border between the two for the two warring forces, but also what's beyond the, the ten years. It's good to keep a record. Agnes and Kevas working together as a team. Tyon seems a little dissatisfied, but at the time. His thinking was quite aligned with mine. Finding a path that lets us all live. I will make that my mission. I don't think setting my system clock forward would do anything for me. Also, Switch games tend not to have achievements. Stop crying, lads! It won't change anything! For now, just run! Run with all the breath you have! Noah! Over here! We can go through here, and then we're out! Alright! Uh, this series is all Nintendo exclusive. Oh, no! Sparks! We almost made it! <laughs> also, sorry if you hear any thumping on my end. That's outside of my control. As I've said before, it's nothing um, adult happening. It's just some annoying people. I'm sorry. Huh? If I'd been just a bit faster, I could have saved many more lives. Uh, who are? I'm Ethel, from Colony 4. Silvercoat Ethel! She pushed her colony all the way to rank silver, and in her third term at that. Some do call me that. However, a person's worth isn't in their color. It's here. I wish I had my worth in my boobs. Sorry, that was inappropriate. Nice blade you've got. Guys, eh? It's a wild ride, this passage of fate. We got ourselves a nice little awakening. You were all talk when you left here, but you've nothing to show for it, D. Oh, spare me, P. After all, I did precisely what I was meant to do. So, about that huge bet of yours? Pray tell us who won. 
<laughs> a draw, I think. And with two whole colonies on the field. We should have sallied forth in the first place. The whole thing would have been done by tea time. <laughs> it was Jay who insisted on it. I thought that that had already been communicated. Why is everyone letters? I believe it's my turn next. H, I'm pretty sure you already had your kicks the other day when you wiped out Colony 8, no? Surely the turn is mine. Honestly, you make more noise than the rabble at a feast. There. Even if you did stop its raging flow, it will soon burst through. All it takes is the slightest fissure. And that is fate. I've told you before, haven't I? D. Ah, the gang's all here again. Kay. Will you go? If you say I go, I go. Well then, let us see how far the flow brings them this time. No! Yeah! Oh! Is this some sort of mating ritual? What, what's Guys, going on here? What do you think you're doing? Oh, Cyan, morning! Hey, did we wake you? Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't gone and woken up the whole Forsaken Continent. So? Oh, this. We reckon we might be able to do the same as what Noah and Mio did. You reckoned? You mean that Ouroboros thing? Yeah! How badass was that? We thought if we pulled it off, it'd raise our chances of survival a whole bunch. And you think it's that easy? Huh? I mean... I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but don't you think maybe that power's meant only for them? Yeah, but that Mobius guy, he did refer to us. Mobius, that's a good I just name. thought... I thought you it was thought Morpheus. maybe you could transform as well? What makes you think it would be you two, anyway? Say it is possible. It could be me and Lance. It's just... kind of a feeling. Yeah, just a hunch, right? Something wrong? Not at all. Then, uh, I guess that leaves me with her. <sighs> I envy you, I really do. Ah, oh, what are you moaning about now? Let's drop it. I don't want us bickering this early. Especially, not now we seem to be sharing a common destiny, we happy few. If I didn't know better... I'd say you're trying to get us all worked up. Think whatever you want. I think you might be on the mark, though. Oh? We were all there, every one of us, in the same situation. Now, hold on. The only difference was, I was set on protecting Mio, protecting all of you guys. And then I suddenly transformed. That's it? That's all it took? Yeah. So you can take that form via a strong desire or emotion? Possibly. Probably too much to ask a Professor Grump here. What, me? Well, who do you think? And you're any different? What, me? <laughs> As if I'm gonna join with you. Uni. Come on, though. You're not going to manage this overnight. Not the way you all are right now. Even so... It can't hurt to have a little hope, can it? Hmm. I suppose there's logic in that.
Okay. Everyone ready? Yeah. Tasty treats? Check. I just took a quick look see, and this, this equipment seems surprisingly quality. Don't you think? Uh, yeah. That's that way. That city we're headed for. Looks like it's going to be a long journey. Found us around here, so Does that work for you? Thanks, Tay. Tay. Hey, you've got some real handy data there. Guess we should head uh, through the caves and toward Millet Meadows first, then. Chin up, guys. Let's get going. Press L and R while holding ZL to switch control between the characters in your party. This can be done. This can be done while exploring the world or while in battle. Interesting. I'll do my best. I'll handle this. I'm your guy. Y you want me to lead? All under control. If I can do that during a fight, that's. Kinda neat, I'm not gonna lie. There's a uh, Gora flavor camp. We could do with some food. So how's our uh, bonus experience looking? There we go. That also puts everyone uh, at the same level of experience. Stronger. Oh, much better. I don't know that I could particularly get any cleaner than it already was, because you know, it's pretty much new and we haven't actually Done any battles in it? How come you get to be the boss? I know this stuff too. Oh, what can do? So these fights are going to get awful noisy. <laughs> Like th this is the largest party that has been in any Xenoblade game. Usually it's three or four. Oh, you're an enemy. Okay. Damn. How is that a miss? You like the cat ear one? Well, maybe after the break I can switch, uh... I can switch to Neo as a leader. The, the main thing is, she's a tank. So... But yeah, Neo's pretty... Neo's pretty alright. Um... She's... She kind of reminds me of Nia, uh, of Nia, N-I-A, in, uh, uh, Xenoblade 2, which I think is pretty much what they're going for. Max heat level.
So what's your deal? Here we go. It'd probably go better if you use both of your arms there, Senna. But you know, you do you, I guess. Uh, I think we've cleaned this place out. Well, this is kind of awkward. How do you think we feel? What a gorgeous view. Wait, this isn't the right way, is it? We'd just end up back at Alfetto Valley. Yeah, well, we can I also interact with this. Like so. Okay. Of course. Okay, so that gives us a way back for whenever we're able to reasonably go back there. Which will probably happen at some point in the story, just not now. I thought that box might have been like supplies or something, but no, no such luck. This game is gorgeous, by the way. Just let me know that. Millic Meadows. Also, hey Tyrion. We need a really cool heavy box to make our rope ladder. Even more inconvenient. Nah, I wanted to get that item before cutscene. Hey guys, could I have a moment? Meh? Yeah? What's up? There's something that I forgot to tell you. It's about who in charge of Dindin duties! <laughs> no. From now on, I want us to avoid combat as much as possible. So, Kevez, Agnes, if either of them decide to put up a fight, don't kill them, okay? Not saying I'm against the idea, but why? Guess it'd suck having to draw on our allies. Do we just knock them out cold or something? Or get them to surrender? How kind of you. Huh? I'm sure our past victims will appreciate that. You little... We don't need to take any more lives. There's no point. There's a reason we met. There has to be. Huh? You think? Back then? If we hadn't met each other, we wouldn't be here like this now. Even though we're being chased by both nations at once. We get chased, we run. Easy. A smart new decision. We'll keep on running to that sword. <sighs> Talk about bad blood. Just give it time. It's early days. Maybe so. Funny pattern you got there. You can talk. You've got those shiny chest doodads. We've always had these. You know, I've never even thought of myself as strange before. So many things. Taken for granted. We're pretty different, huh? Worlds apart. No one's worlds apart. If anything, 
we should be questioning all that we've thought to be true. Differences are all a matter of perspective. <laughs> Our skeptic. Hey, are you always like this? Of course. It's my nature. Hmm. Personally, I think it's easier to take things at face value, you know? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Huh? You making fun of me? All I said was, it would be nice. Oh, no, you don't. You just call me an airhead, you jerk. This is just... You didn't? How long are you going to drag this out? For as long as I spark in need to. Until you come clean, Four Eyes. I can't believe this. Someone shoot me. What's that? Hey, Mimi. You can see that Pharaonis over by the side of the big outcrop there, right? Oh, yeah. I don't have any data about the colony establishments so like that. Not for sure. No, take a good look. Isn't that kind of old? It does look like it's seen quite a bit of service. Yeah, I don't think they make them like that anymore. Um, do you think it's safe to be around? You're freaking me out a bit here, Mia. Sorry. Don't think an apology is necessary. Do you think there could be some useful resources and stuff in there still? Possibility, so. It's in the, it's in the general... It's in the general direction of, of object. Why not investigate? Alright, let's check it out. The Hillside Hulk. Grab all the things here. Ooh, container over there. Container. Also, I wonder if we can still do send offs. Like, will that have any like positive effect? Because everyone kind of hates us now. So now that there are six of us, we should be able to take on a uh, level 12 elite, right? Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Ah! Why? Ah! Ah! Eyes over here. You're a lifesaver. The one that I wanted. I wanted this one, which missed. Well, that's pretty great. Bouncing aggro. There we go. Perfect timing on that overclock buster. There goes the elite. Everyone's still in great shape, actually. So, right, let's push on. Have this stuff and go. They found us. 
A level 14 regular one. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I am outside. Yeah. Topple. Days. Yeah, it turns out that with six of us, this is going a lot smoother. Oh jeez. So I'm guessing that that rule about uh, not getting into fights doesn't necessarily apply to the wildlife. A level 11 of you here. Damn it. I'm trying to pay attention to my facing here. But, uh... It can be a little hard when you have two tanks, which will occasionally bounce aggro between each other. But you never really know which way that uh, the enemy is facing. And then you can like start with an attack that is in the correct facing, and then the enemy just turns in mid-attack, which is not great. Yeah, that's right. Come down here. Okay, I got the break. Now I Yeah, I started doing that, and then the enemy died anyway. I was hoping to get that during a daze, but sometimes the battle is over a little faster than you thought it would be. Doesn't quite go the, the way that you're hoping. Ooh, what level is that big guy? Uh, no, 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 no. No fighting right now. I'm guessing I can't attack. I I can't target that big guy over there because too far away. Also, I'm not entirely sure what I'm collecting all of this stuff for because nobody is friends with us right now. It probably at some point we'll have friends again. But, uh, right now, we kind of don't. There's just the six of us. Well, the eight of us, if you're counting the novel one. Some, uh, some red particulate around here, and I'm not really sure what's going on. Soldiers' husks, plural. We can't leave it like this. I love that the two send-off songs just harmonize together so well.
Ooh. Oh, landmark. What is that over there? Let's see that, that kind of maroon stripe. I want to go check that out. Strike, where was it? Over here. No, oh, is this meant to be? No way we can climb that. Okay, well, thanks for just straight up telling me. There probably will be a way to climb that later, but right now, no go. Well, that's a big drop, isn't it? Ooh, shiny. A lot of dudes, though. Also, the one on top there is an elite. Huh? Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Keep your eyes open. Oh, over here. Over the power. Senna, let's see it. Got the camera ahead. Yeah. Head up there. There you go. Also, love how that other guy is just kind of sitting there and not aggroing at all. Ooh, two shinies. Fight the big thing in the river. If it's the big thing that we saw before, uh, that's not happening right now. Sure, I did, Santa. You look great. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. First come, first serve. Santa, eyes over here. Cheers, you're the jet. You see me in action, Mimi? Sure, I did, Santa. You look great. It wasn't that bad, no, please. We've been spotted. What's this? Whoa, check this place out. Bit of conflict going on here. So do we want the Pyros Crustin? Or the Heavy Brog? Which one will we assist?
What do you think, chat? Okay, this will give us some bonus experience and money that we'll be able to use eventually, presumably. Those map on coins, dude. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Okay. Over here. That Feralis must have been there for quite some time. Where are you? It was probably abandoned after being put out of commission decades ago. We've been spotted. Here we go. You are level 14. Alright. We can probably take that one. Well, maybe those knock-on coins are very important. Like, I honestly do not know what role they have in this game. Also something that I want to check. Let's see, what's the... Man, I just got all of them here. Uh, there's not gonna be any... Oh, we do have stuff in the Collectopedia. Despite the fact that everyone hates us. We've done all of these at least once, so we don't so much need to worry about them. Press tips. One, two, three. Yeah, what a number two. And they've staked the Veronis as their turf. I'll have to get rid of them all before we can search for salvageable materials. Sounds like a plan. There we go. Now I can lure enemies. Enemies that are close to get uh, that are close together tend to attack in groups. In such cases, uh, press. Up, I think, to lure uh, to lure over a single enemy from a group at a time and gradually pick them off that way. Hey, Zinfidel. How are you doing? I'll lure them in. The lure is basically like you throw a rock at it, so it does one point of damage. So it's basically a distance pull, which is what I wanted in the first place. You look great. You do have to be close enough. I'll lure them in. There. There we go, buddy. Come here. I got something for you. 
Wrong facing. There you go. So far, so far this game has been pretty good. Um, I am, I am very interested in the story. And of course, it goes without saying, it's Xenoblade Chronicles. It's a gorgeous fucking game. Oh wait, I'm trying to keep these clean for YouTube. It's a gorgeous freaking game. Well, whatever. It's not like I have a big YouTube channel here. I'm not going really to necessarily like this. If I had like a hundred thousand subscribers, I would worry more about that. I think my VOD channel has like three. Break! Yeah, are you good at dazing? Good right now? Oh wait, the top of four. That's why, that's why you weren't dazing. Uh, I have not played Final Fantasy XII, so I, uh, I don't have much of a point of comparison there. Also nice to know that your first one was also cross. That, that's how I got into that series. Um, I think I had heard... Oh, God, yeah. I did get the big one. Okay. I had originally heard about it through uh, Frank and Maddox. And, um... Here we go, guys! Right on! Makes thought it looked interesting. Gave it a look. Gave it a play. And turns out, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to play with the online features at the time. Which is unfortunate, but, um... It was still fun, it's just I didn't get to do everything. Looks like we got rid of all the cross tips living in the Furonis. Hmm. Let's check out the container. Not much. It because Furonis is low on power. If we bring it online, containers might open. In Pharaonis of this type, power compartment usually located over there. Okay, let's take a look then. So, up here? Looks like. Could you help me out here? On it. Here we go. <laughs> How does it look right here? No, no. Power level is at precisely zero, so Riku cannot say one way or another. Guess without a flame clock, it really was kind of a long shot. If we could froze over the containers, then it looks so dumb. You're confident you can do that without breaking the contents, be my guest. No promises. Stop! No need for gratuitous violence. Can solve problem with ether solution. We could surely have one somewhere. Uh, yeah. My eyes deceive me as that flat out empty. I recall we always complain about how we were short on this or that. 
Even a fraction of the supplies there would be more than we have now. Oh, go away. We shall miss home ever more keenly. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just need supply with Eva to get it running, right? I ask because look over there. Isn't that an Eva channel? Doesn't look too far. I'll go take a look, see, see if I can harvest some for us. I'll go with you. Safety in numbers. Maybe it would be better if we all try to stick together. I'm going to second that assessment. Okay then, let's go right now. On the field there are green light sources called ether channels. Using them to fill up ether cylinders will come in handy for your adventure, so be sure to harvest them. Press A while near an ether channel to harvest this ether into an ether cylinder. Um, so before I go on break, I think I saw, yeah, I'm gonna send this guy out. I better send them off. What's up with this malignant aura? Uncertain. But, uh, I'm not gonna get too distracted right now. Anyway, um, I think this is a good spot. To go on break. Evil smoke, better not breathe it. Uh, you're probably right about that. So, um, we're gonna go take a break, go recharge our ether canisters uh, so you can get a drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we will reconvene with some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and um, see where the road ahead takes us. Because what a road uh, it is turning out to possibly be. So, I'll see you in a bit.